that we were all conspiracy theorists. I was called conspiracy theorists because I was reading the reports that we got that we knew about the asbestos and mercury and the concrete. I mean, 44s of those buildings basically were aerosolized. The 44s uh, were the buildings, that's the official estimate of particulates and dust out here. And I don't want Bush to see this. Come to my crib. I don't want to Bush to know this is weird. I'm not trying to put my arm around all this. But uh, they told <laughs> this one gets shut out. Come here, hey, everything's all right. Uh, the dust isn't bad for you. The air is normal. And uh, what about the firemen, the police, the school teachers, the children, the people that work at these banks, people that work at these hotels? Uh, as you know, uh, major scientific institutions, medical institutions like Mount Sinai have done the studies. And uh, when it's on the paper, it's like 70% of those that they tested that thought they had problems indeed uh, had uh, the asbestos in their lungs, they had the diseases associated with that. This is a massive, just that part of the cover-up is unraveling. And notice, Bush and others called it a conspiracy theory. I, in fact, just yesterday I was being called a conspiracy theory by, by the few idiots, there might be 15 of them out here that we've seen that buy the official story and yell at us, and they're, and they're saying, no, the dust isn't bad, you're a liar. I mean, they just deny reality. That's all they do is deny reality. They are the conspiracy theorists making up weird conspiracies. We're going off scientific facts. Now let's go across the globe for a bit. Do you think that your idea is fellow protesters are getting more traction as America gets more skeptical about the war Is there can you make that connection for us? Oh absolutely. We've been lied to not just about the dust and the asbestos here. And that lie has now come out. We know that Bush premeditatively, he didn't just actually screw up bad intelligence by WMDs. We have the White House memo, we have the Downing Street memo, where they crafted the false intelligence, lied to Congress, lied to the American people, used the fear of 9-11 to then blame it, to then blame it on uh, Iraq. Now they're trying to shift the blame to Iran. Now they want World War III. And the American people don't want World War III, as Newt Gingrich and others have called for it. We want freedom, we want peace. All 9-11 has been used to do is to take our liberties here domestically, turn America into an increasing police state society, and then capture us as an engine of global domination. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Do you know what cool